fantastic performance. I mean, it really felt like the second round you started really finding your stride there and showing your balance on the ground. How do you feel overall about the fight and your performance? I feel great to obviously get the win and get the finish. You know, I was a little bit gutted that I heard some booze. That's not what I want in my fights. You know, in my fights, I'm always looking to be an entertainer first and foremost. So, you know, that sucked if I'm honest. But the first round is how I kind of thought it was all going to go. In the second round, we ended up on the floor and I knew he had nothing for me there. So, you know, it, it takes two to tango. And when we was on the ground, he was wrapping my arms up. You know, he was holding me onto him. And, you know, there's only so much I can do. If I, if I get too... Uh, Hasty, you know, I end up getting, I might end up getting submitted. So, you know, I done what I needed to do, but I'm just happy to get the finish and the win. Well, I mean, about the booth, you're an Englishman fighting an American in Los Angeles. I mean, it probably wasn't your performance, or is that what you feel? I don't know. I think it was the performance because it was, you know, when it was not much was happening on the floor, you know. So, but, you know, I hope not. I hope it's not because I'm English. And the prospect does seem to be just the right big thing for you. I mean, you're looking great so far. You got another win now in the UFC. Whoever the UFC want me to fight, you know, I honestly don't mind. You know, I will fight whoever they give me. So all I need is a name, a date, and a place, and I'll be there. Maybe you can get that uh, Duke and Wah fight in, in London. <laughs> it would be nice. Right. You know, I, I tell you, like, if there's one guy I want to fight, you know, it would be Cheeto Vera. You know, we had a bit of back and forth on Twitter. It's all fun and games, but, you know, that would make sense. But, yeah, if, Duke, if Tom Duke and Wah wants it, you know, but I just hope he doesn't pull out again because, you know, if, uh, if he's going to pull out over a sore rib every time, then I'm not going to get a fight. But London is, is where you want to be next. Hundred percent. You know, I was just saying that my first ever UFC event that I went to was watching my coach Brad Pickett live. And when I started, you know, I said that's where I want to be. I want to be at O2. I want to be in the UFC, and I want to represent my country and my hometown. So that for me is a dream come true if I can get on there. Did any of the, the location changing this week affect you coming from overseas and your your family and friends? It did. You know, it was uh, the time zone messed me up a little bit. I'm not quite used to that. I didn't get to come out too early, so. You know, I'm just trying to adjust to the time and the weight cut at the same time. That sucked. Um, obviously, I was gutted and heartbroken that I wasn't with my family on Christmas Day. You know, seeing them on FaceTime, you know, it wasn't quite the same, but it was all worth it. I got the win, so I'm going to go back and celebrate with them tomorrow. Was everyone able to make it to LA from, from Vegas and everything? The people, the people that came were, but unfortunately, one of my best mates, he was actually proposing to his girlfriend in Vegas at the Grand Canyon. So they've done it now, so I'm allowed to say it. But, you know, congratulations, Tom, obviously. <laughs> um, but yeah, it sucked that they couldn't come because he had already had that booked up. So now that, now that you're coming out here from the win, you said you, know, you weren't happy about everything, but what are your biggest takeaways from the fight? Then? You know, the biggest point you think, I gotta work on this. Um. If I'm honest, you know, there's not too much that I come away from the fight thinking I need to work on. You know, I'm happy that I came away uninjured. You know, there's been a lot of fights, even when I've got the wins, where I've come out with damage, I've come out with broken noses, and you know, I've busted up my hands, my feet, and whatnot. So I'm fresh, you know, which is perfect, especially if it's that London card's 11 weeks away. Um, but you know, I just come out. I'll be back in the gym after next week, and you know, just whatever my coaches want me to do, I will work on and just look to get better every day. I saw a video where after you beat Johnny Eduardo, it was like, yeah. Basically, a ball with, like looked like the entire your entire whole city was there. Do you think is there something similar going on tonight? Yep, there is. It's my local social club, you know. So everyone in the local area they go down there and watch it. I'm sure there'll be a video of them going crazy again tonight. So you know, if it, if there is one, I'll be putting it on social media for sure.